a couple of deer on their morning walk saw me? Or was I on my morning walk and saw them? You decide. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Well, it's hung, finished, and I'm putting an extra hinge in there. I actually had a viewer who suggested that. Clayton Como. Hope I said your last name right. The fact is that I had already planned on doing that. This hinge matches those hinges, but I had a problem. These hinges are the ones I bought to do it, and they don't have the same radius of opening, so I've stole the hinges off of this cupboard, Who's going to ever know this except just you and me? Me and whoever's watching this. Just that one feller. Anyway, put a third hinge in there to hold the weight of the cans. And since I stole two hinges, I'm putting the other one here. So that if I decide later to make another can shelf on that side, which would only be this wide... Uh, it'll support the weight as well. Thought maybe you'd like to know one of my little tricks for drilling screw holes. The right depth. I just put a little collar on there. And where did I get that? I sawed this pen off. Yeah, I know, they make uh, little collars to do that, and I've got them at home in my workshop in Mexico, but here in the motorhome, had to make do, and it works perfectly. Anyway, finished project. More can storage. I finished up that project, and I... Ooh, does sunshine make you sneeze? Uh, sunshine makes me sneeze. I finished up that project and decided I'd sit out here and give myself a manicure. It's one of life's things. Oh, uh... Still got my work shirt on, my dirty work shirt. Might be my ice cream eating shirt too, who knows. Anyway, so I, I finished that video and I'm talking about one of my tricks or hints or tips or hacks or whatever you want to call it. And as I sat down here, I realized I have another one to tell you about. Uh, all my fingernail clipping, filing, cleaning stuff, I keep it all together. Now, I took it all apart. I keep it all together in a pile with this magnet. I've talked about these magnets before. Um, the money in Mexico in your pocket is um, not like U.S. money. It, it sticks to a magnet, except for the 10 peso coins. They don't stick because they're brass or something, but uh, it's really easy to separate it them out and a magnet like this yeah go watch my old videos you'll see what i'm talking about it's great in your pocket but today i thought i'd show you this all of my tools there they all stay in one pile well come on don't make a fool of me. There you go. They all stay in one pile. So I just throw them uh, on the carpet under the dash there. Because in the motorhome, I'm always sitting outside when I do this. Because you don't want to pick up fingernail inside. So this is where they live. They live right there. Right here by the door. 
And I pick them up and I only have to grab one thing because they're all stuck together. Tip for the day. <laughs> well, we have a special trip to make today. We're going over to a casino near Tucson because I have ordered some more menthol cigarettes for Lynn. Is that the same casino where a guy called you a jackass? <laughs> what did you ask me? Is that the casino where that guy called you a jackass? A guy called me a jack. Oh no, that was uh, that was in Oregon, Oregon. Or. Why are you calling it Oregon now that you don't live there anymore? Because uh, I don't live there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I guess since this came up, now I better tell the whole story. Um, we were at the Chinook Winds Casino in Lincoln City, Oregon. And uh, we were with the motorhome, this motorhome, and my Suzuki sidekick, the tow car that I had at the time, and it was a cold morning, and that Suzuki sidekick uh, had an idling problem when it was cold. Um, it was the MAP, Mass Airflow Sensor. Anyway, it idled at about uh, 25, 2600 RPM until it warmed up. So we're up on top of the hill where the RVs are parked, and I come down around the corner to the crosswalk from the car parking place uh, underneath the portico into the main door of the casino. And there's a couple walking across the crosswalk and I stop well back because I know my engine is racing and I don't want to intimidate them. Um, and they walk past in front of me and as they're uh, well out of the way, I proceed much faster than I usually would because uh, the engine is racing. And so as I cross the crosswalk, the guy turns around and says, slow down, jackass. And I go on faster than I would have. And my wife, this wife right here says, how did he know your name? <laughs> Morning, friends. We're starting a new project today. We're going to drive up to where we have acquired a couple of greenhouses. This is going to be a pretty big project. We have to disassemble them. Um, they've been in disuse for a few years, but there's lots of parts and pieces there, including uh, big swamp coolers and all of the plumbing and electrical and timers and switches and plant hangers and it's uh, it's a lot of stuff and we're going to dismantle it all and um, bring it down here to the Arizona ranch property it's 70 miles from here and this is going to be a big project and we're starting today to get these greenhouses, we're going to drive up through Saguaro National Park to where they are. And since I got that plastic cover off of my dash cam, uh, we'll get some great pictures driving through Saguaro National Park. So stay tuned, come along for the ride in my next videos. Is there any reason at all to label these where they came from? like me give me one of those thumbs up and please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next please share me with your friends on social media thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today